What we're announcing today is the opportunity for hardware developers, third-party accessory makers, and hackers, just people who want to create things, to actually build accessories that talk directly to Pebble. There's a port on the back of the watch, and um, developers can create sensors, uh, sensor straps, like GPS or heart rate, that can connect and talk directly to Pebble. So what you're inviting people to do is create smart straps to go with a smart watch. Yes, exactly. What do you envisage? I see smart straps as being the opportunity to, to take Pebble and make the best fitness watch in the world. To take Pebble and create a watch that has a battery life you know, even longer than a week. Um, it, really, it really unleashes developers' creativity. Instead of being constrained and confined to whatever we, we thought Pebble should be, they can take it and make it what they want it to be. So effectively, you're asking the hardware community now to hack your watch in the way the software people have. We would love if that would, if that would happen. Yes. Um, and if we wanted to include all of the sensors, well, I mean, then the watch just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And we wanted to make sure that it was still extremely small and fit you know, ergonomically on your wrist. Now, it's fair to say that amongst the wider public, smartwatches have been slow to take off. Is Apple, with its Apple Watch, going to make a difference? I think the opportunity is massive. I think there's going to be millions, if not tens or hundreds of millions of smartwatches on people's wrists within the next couple of years. Isn't this a bit of a David and Goliath scenario? You're a tiny company, grown very fast via Kickstarter, Apple, been around a little while. Can you yeah, really I've heard of them before. Yeah. Can you really compete? I'd say that in the last week and a half, in the last week since we launched Pebble Time, it's clear that it's not just David versus Goliath. It's David and the power of the crowd versus a massive company. We started off on Kickstarter three years ago. We were just five people. The company has grown. We're now 130 people, which for us feels amazing. But when you think about it, we're miniature. We're, the, we're, we're, we're nothing. Apple is the largest, I think they're literally the largest company in the world. And as a small company, we're competing extraordinarily well with them. I think the next step is to empower the community with things like smart straps and our open platform to, take, to help take what we've made and make this into truly a worldwide phenomenon.